Hello you, welcome to Geekism, the final episode of Kingdoms and Castles. For now, at least, like I say, we may well come back if there's a huge update in the future, but I kind of feel like we've seen a lot of it, and uh, I just want to kind of cap off a few areas and uh, give you some of my final thoughts. Uh, final thoughts, that's right. Uh, so, first of all, I want to... Um, this road looks really empty. So, I'm going to build a couple of little mini farms down here. Hopefully. Anyway, uh, fertile soil is a bit of an issue for us, but hope. Uh, I can find somewhere just to put a couple of uh, couple little farms in. Yeah, there it seems happy. Okay, cool. So let's do there and there, and then hopefully here and here. There we go. A couple of little farms just to kind of break up that area. Little homes, little spaces for people to live in. Uh, but the main thing we're going to do here is finish off this area here with a little uh, little port, basically a little um, little port harbour area. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of you, unfortunately. Thank you. All. And, uh, and build you out a little bit this way. We're going to have a castle gate. We are going to castle gate this in, you see. So um, we need to kind of do something like uh, there. Okay, so we'll put you down there and then we'll go to our castle area. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then um, we're going to do two. Actually, we'll just go one round for now. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little place. Really, it's only going to be a little place. So there can be three, and then didn't want that. Yeah, and then we'll then we'll cap that area off there. Okay. So then here, um, let's figure out. I, I would like to put this great hall down. We need a bit more wood. I don't think it actually does anything, but I think it would be quite a nice sort of central building here, seeing as we can't have another. Uh, sort of, you know, main castle area. So we'll just wait for them to get a couple more bits of wood. In fact, we'll speed the game up again. There we go. So now we can build a great hall. Wow, it really is great. Okay, it's huge, in fact. Okay, but this is good. I'm thinking kind of like a... Like a Light's Hope Chapel type jobby, you know? Uh, the entrance is not where I wanted it to be. Ugh, okay. Um... That's annoying. I, I, was, I would have assumed the entrance would be here on this side. Uh, okay, can we make it work? I don't think we can, but do you know what we might do? We could always build it out like a little temple, you know? We could actually, yeah, we could build it out that you have to travel to a little temple by the sea. Yeah, let's do that. That will look quite cool. Uh, let's demolish you then, and we'll turn you into a stone gate. Um, why can't we do that? Tell me we haven't got enough stone for that. Too far away from any roads. That's fine. That's fine. We've got to add some roads in. So we also want a, uh, a town centre here then. So let's have a look. Go into our town. We want a town square here. Oh, we need loads of roads coming in. Okay, that's fine. Let's do that then. Roads are going to come from here. It's weird that you can build some of them down, but not others. Um, so this is going to be the town centre here. Yeah, so we need to build a... Where are you? Town Square. Yep, there. Okay. And then pull the road off it. And a nice little sort of coastal walk up to the uh, the Great Hall there. And then we'll have... Um, I would also like that to be filled in. So where's those... Uh, those weird little uh, under castle is it? Pier, there we go. So we're going to build a pier here. Um, they use a lot of wood and stuff, so we'll just have to do three of those for now. Um, although I would like a fourth. And maybe in the future we can build another one of those. So let's get some houses up here. We need somewhere for people to live. We need wood. It's all about the wood again. So let's let uh, let it run for a little second. This is quite a cool little dockland area. I think this is uh, this is good. Look quite nice. It'll finish off the area quite nicely. Like I say, we've got people running back and forth along the uh, the path there, which looks pretty great. Uh, over here. Uh, oh wow, we've really jumped up. Expand your area. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. If you fall, you fall. Look at that stockpile there. So yeah, more stockpiles probably. Um, that's I think as full as it goes at the moment. Um, so that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? 
Look at that. Over here in our second uh, second little town, our little harbour town. Uh, this would be if this was an RPG. This would be where you started, and you would have to kill thirty wolves on the way up to here. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's definitely the sort of thing uh, that you would seem to find in that sort of game. Um, all right, let's have a look. I feel like we should probably build the walls out a little, maybe. No, I don't know. You wouldn't have walls on the on the water, would you? I mean, well, you might. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I just don't know. Let's do a stone gate where it should be. There. And then castle walls. We need to build these up. I think it has to go to four either side, which should be there. So that's good. Farm's doing pretty well. We lost nine then. Is that just got nowhere to put it? Ah, uh, we haven't got any workers, that's why. So we, yeah, we are desperate for housing now, basically. So let's get uh let's get some cottages on the go. Some cottages on the edge of the land here. Or are we better doing them um, here? Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's probably better, isn't it? And then do one there, and then we'll do a couple of little hovels on the water sedge. Because that seems a little bit more uh, a little bit more realistic. We're literally spending the wood as we farm it at the moment. <laughs> um Okay. These guys in the water doing their jobs. They're such hard workers. Uh, we've got a town square. There's not really much else going on here, unfortunately. We could, we should probably should have like tried to have built a. Uh, uh, we've got a dragon. I don't mind. Uh, we should, probably should have built a uh, like a church or something here to keep people a bit happier. But uh, hopefully the great hall helps. Maybe not. Maybe a, maybe a church on the road to the great hall, like. Um, like somewhere like there could possibly help. We'll see, we'll see. Dragon is what the hell is going on over here? Oh that's our forestry. It looked like it was in the air that did, didn't it? Oh no, our stockpile's gone. Oh I bet we'll have loads of stuff off that. That's really annoying. Um that was really full of stuff. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we lost loads of stone and we've got minus forty two wood now. How on earth does that work? Oh well, we'll let the dragon do his thing. I think we've, you know, he's still going. Still going, although he's now cleared off. Um, although whatever's over here will probably burn due to the lack of uh, well. There we go. That's fine. It, it's burnt trees. I don't mind it burning trees. Over here, come on, there's wells everywhere here. Why is this one little spot burning? Brilliant. Thanks very much for your help, guys and girls. There we go. See, these are the problem. These stockpiles go. Well, we we start to struggle. Um, we lose a lot of stuff. We're nearly back up into surplus for wood, though, so that's not too bad. But eleven people found a home. That's good. That means that uh, over here, I guess, there are people moving into our hovels. Yeah, here they are. Um, so what are they happy about? You're not happy that you've got you haven't got access to a road. You haven't got access. Oh no, a well. We need a well here. I keep forgetting how important wells are. As soon as we've got three more wood, we're building a well. There we go. That should cover that pretty much all of that area. In fact, we might need another one over here to look after the Great Hall. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's okay. That's doable. Let's. Um, I would really like piers all the way across, but my word, they take up a lot of wood. Um, we could always build another forester. Down here, let's have a look. Forester could kind of go, whoops, there, and be pretty happy about it, couldn't they? Let's do that then, because we because we're spreading this stuff out. We haven't really got uh, the infrastructure in some places for it, you know. Um, I'm thinking maybe one more as well, but where to put him? I guess I mean there's a little bit of trees here, and they do plant their own trees eventually. So you only need a few trees to get them started. Uh, again, it's a case of needing wood. One more. There we go. So I think we'll probably do the same and have you there. Yeah, there we go. That could work quite nicely, I think. 
and then we'll do a little road out to you and then we've got a little two space here that would make sense for something later on i guess uh, okay so forestry we've now got two more um just check the ones we've already got are still going we've got this guy here i think we had one here i think that might have been the problem so i'll tell you what we're going to do We'll make people a little bit happier instead and we'll clear this area out rather than having a forestry inside of the castle, which doesn't really make sense. Um, we'll clear this area out and we'll use it for either a housing or maybe something like a church or a hospital or a library or something. I mean, we have got a library somewhere. Is that it? No, that's a hospital. Uh, that's the barracks. Maybe a library then, yeah. Maybe we can use that space for a library. So we'll let uh, we'll let them fill that area out and just make them a little happier over in the main city. You know, got to keep them happy, even though we're building this lovely little outreach area over here. We've got to keep them happy in the main city too. Um, stuff's coming along quite nicely here. Plenty of farm and food and stuff. They're telling me that they're starving. Is it just because you're not on a road? Because that will be fixed soon, I'm afraid. Uh, what happens? Can we build roads onto piers? Oops. Yeah. So I think we'll run the road along here once these piers are built. But they don't have to need a lot of wood. So unfortunately, we'll have to deal with it. He's bringing food. Yeah, there you go. You've got to be happy about that. Once access to road, everything else you're pretty happy about. So yeah, once we get a road al alongside of you, you'll be pretty chuffed about all that, won't you? There's one space there. What can we stick in there? Maybe a little stockpile or something? Um, I think all of these are a bit too big. Let's stick a small stockpile in. So the people got access to wood and stuff over there. And then here, look, there we, we've got a few options here for what we can build in this larger space. But I think we're going to go with library. Okay, have we just not got... Oh, a library's only little. Oh, let's build a library over here then. Let's not build a uh, Let's not build a stockpile at all. All these people are starving. Let's not build a stockpile. They're starving. Let's give them books. Um, Where are you? Library. Yes. Awesome. And uh, we could probably do a few of these over here now. No, I didn't, I didn't realise they were little. library and have we got an old little space over here library right in the middle of the farms that's a bit weird isn't it uh, oh somebody's had to go on this area again look oh sorry let's put one there that's good uh, let's fix this area this is all I seem to do is fix this is this is like a a real uh, real spot that gets damaged a lot I don't know whether it's Oh, excuse me for knocking the bike. Don't know whether that was a uh, ogre or it might have been a dragon, actually. Here we go. <coughs> excuse me. It's fixed anyway. In fact, what we're going to do is see if we can stop it happening again. Let's make one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, let's make. Oh, no, one, two. Let's put it there. Let's make another uh, archery tower there to. Kind of help. It's obviously obviously a bit of a danger point, isn't it, that one? So we'll help it out by doing that. And um, everything else seems to be going pretty well over here. Can't lie, but the Great Hall's still going. My word, it uses a lot of stuff, that thing does. Um, yeah. Yeah, I love the idea of having a pier. In fact, what I might do is rather than... Oh, so we kind of need the pier across there. I'm going to be happy with those two homes just on the edge there. What I might do is bring the... This is purely for aesthetics now. I just want it to look cool. Um, I want to build you down. Yeah. They're still hungry. Why are you all hungry? There's farms everywhere. Do we need a stockpile? Do we need or a market? Let's, oh, we'll tell you what we could do. We could have a market on the outside of the, uh, on the, outside of the town here. Let's get you chopped down. Let's get you chopped down. As soon as you do, we're going to mark it set up on the outside on the outside of the town. That's a perfect idea. That's exactly the sort of thing you would uh, you would find in real life. Uh, Forrester, please. 
Come and take this tree down over here, pal. No, not there. Yeah, here. No, uh, I'm going to have to shut you a minute. Sorry. Can we please clear these trees out? <laughs> please, come on. Somebody must be free. Somebody must be. There must be one person who can come and chop down a couple of trees. Please. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on it. Um, we've got another dragon on the way in. This great hall's looking good. I don't think. I'm sure I remember somebody in the comments saying it doesn't actually do anything. But uh, it looks the part, doesn't it? And like I say, we built it a little bit out there so that. Um, so that it can be like the sort of temple that you go and visit on the way out. So let's. Uh, we've got plenty of stone. Uh, we're going to have to use some of our wood, unfortunately, but I feel like it's um, worth doing to kind of help this area out a little. There we go. See, Dragon is on his way over here already. So, yeah, we definitely need some sort of uh, fortifications over here. Oops. Seems we've got a bit more wood. We can. At the moment, there's absolutely nothing stopping this dragon from just blowing the whole place up. So that is definitely something we need to uh, curtail. There we go. One tree is down. That's good. Let's just get this. Let's restart it so we can chop this tree down. Please, come on. Just so we can build a market. I just feel like uh, people over here aren't getting the food they need. And a market would very probably help that. Luckily, the dragon didn't do anything over here. That's good. Gone over to the main city now where he's going to get absolutely battered. And will most likely die. What can we put here then? Um, we've got space for. I mean, we've got a hospital pretty close, to be honest. There's a hospital there. There's a church there. I mean, we could just put some more housing, I guess. A couple of. Oh, a mason, sorry, that is. Not, not, a, ma not a mansion. Manor, it's called. There we go. Um, I mean, we've got, we've got this Lord Levy dude as well. I mean, we've probably got to get him in there somewhere, haven't we? Even though I don't know actually what he does. Maybe he'd be better out. Again, for sort of people to go and sort of pray. Pray to. Um, oh, go solid. We'll put it there. Yeah, Lord Levy can go down there. And then we'll build one little uh, cottage. Why not? Just get a little bit of housing next to him there. Good stuff. They're probably not going to be happy that they're right next to the blacksmith or whatever it is there. But never mind. If they want to live, they'll live, won't they? Uh, okay, so we're doing pretty well over here. Great Hall's nearly finished. Uh, yep, there we go. Done. There we go. Eat grand meals every day here. Like I said, I don't actually know what it does. And I'm just, like I said, I'm sure somebody said in the comments that it doesn't actually do anything. Um, so it's okay. It just looks good. Looks the part. Like I said, we always play this game, these games on this channel with a little bit of a, uh, you know, an aesthetic mindset. So yeah, we've still got loads of stone, and not much of anything else. The stone is coming from. Way away, I think, as well. They're having to ship it all the way down here. They are, look. Poor little sods. But they're getting there with it. They are getting there with it. Please, can somebody just come and cut this tree down? The one tree to rule them all. Um, look at these little guys swimming. They're good workers, aren't they? They are good workers, considering, you know, we're feeding them bread. And packing them into a huge city next to each other. Um, they are very good hard workers. <laughs> Let's see what these have got to say. I'm pretty sure it's the usual stuff. Uh, too long to harvest. Quarries have no place for stone. That dragon. Ah, that dragon. Okay, so we must have killed the dragon. That's good. He said he'll think twice before heading this way again. Well, if we killed him, he's not going to head anyway again, is he? Let's be honest. Uh, is it these quarries here are full? I mean, you've got that there that you can make it. I mean, we're collecting all these iron. We're not really doing anything with it, but never mind. Come on, let's have this little pier done. So just so we can finish off the area a little, you know. Come on. 
come and finish off, buddies. Uh, walls are near enough done now. We've got a couple more here with the archery tear on top of, of course. Uh, we're back down to slow speed. It's annoying me that, that, that I keep cutting down to slow. I'm sure you're all screaming at the TV or the uh, computer screen or the iPad. Other tablets are available. However you watch me, I don't really care. As long as you keep watching. Get them sweet, sweet watch minutes on YouTube. <laughs> right, let's have a look over here. I think we're all, I think we're, you know, pretty much self-sufficient. These guys are just sort of running around doing what they need to do. We've created a fine little ecosystem here. Um, we're really well protected, I think. And over here, a little bit more, um, a little bit more sort of open to uh, to damage here, I guess. But, you know, it's a smaller town. There's not much going on. You can't have everywhere being amazingly uh, well covered. Can you? Okay, look, look, you can even see where the snow starts. Look, that's weird. <laughs> uh, right, I'll tell you what then. I'll leave this running just a little while just to get these last few bits done. And then we'll have a little overview before we sign off. Okay, there we go. I finished off the uh, the pier here. And then we used a few bridges just to make it a bit of a uh, sort of smaller uh, pier harbour areas there. I think it looks really neat. I'd love to see some boats and stuff in this uh, game in the future. You know, set up some sort of boating lines across to other islands and things like that. That would be really, really cool. Uh, but at the moment, it's purely aesthetic. But we've got the Great Hall over there as well. We've got a little harbour town here that feeds into the, uh, the larger city way over there. Look at that. I think that's turned out really quite cool. Um, let's get rid of these for a minute. I'd, I'd, I'd like to be able to turn them off. There we go. So so features I'd like to see in this game in the future. I'd like to be able to turn advisors off because uh, they're annoying. Um, I would like a, a UI removal as well, just for screenshots. But that's purely a YouTuber thing. You know, that's not a massive... Uh, oh, my phone's really far away. Uh, that's not a massive request there, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, I would like for um, debris... Uh, or, you know, smashed up areas, I would like them to say what they used to be. Because when you get to sort of this sort of size, you know, you've got a random little spot here with uh, something smashed up in it. It's pretty hard to tell what it was, to be honest. Uh, like over here, I, you know, I remember that this is a Forester's. Um, also, some sort of list somewhere that shows that you've got debris would be nice as well. Um, to sort of, so you can go back in and fix problems. Mostly, that's, that's mostly my uh, sort of areas would be to deal with his... Uh, He's fixing, uh, fixing the debris system and, and how to uh, really sort of finish them off. There we go, we'll finish them like that. But overall, I've really enjoyed this game. I love the art style, I love the feel of it. The little peeps sort of bobbing around is great. Um, they can get a little bit too set on a job. I would like to be able to see them. Uh, the AI be improved slightly so that they're able to sort of shift between what needs doing a little better. Uh, at the moment, I have no idle people, so if I built something there, nothing would happen. Uh, it would, it would, it would be for me to go and turn something off. So maybe either. Uh, an ability to... What's up with this one here? Is that burnt a bit or something? Oh, it's closed. There we go. That's what it looks like when it's closed. So we'll open that. Um, maybe an ability to like, just let them have them shift around a little bit more. Uh, or even maybe something like a Teamster's office or you know a builder's yard or something where people can go and work and it's their job just to go out and build new stuff when you want it building. That way you don't have to close down other facilities to make people free to go and build stuff but overall it's really great little game i really enjoy playing it and uh you know maybe we'll go and play again in the future on uh, on full release i'm saying full release i'm pretty sure let me have a look on steam i'm pretty sure it's uh it's an early access title uh already in your steam library um vikings castles maybe it's not you know because it's you know it's a little game so i'd be happy um if it, if it wasn't really but you know it's got a road map so it's definitely got stuff to work on in the future. Um, um, but uh, but overall, I think it's a, a cracking little game. And it seems that people agree with me. Let's have a look. What's the average review? Um, up here somewhere. Um, very positive. Yeah, I totally agree. I am also very positive about this game. Right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the series. If you have, please give this video a like. It really does help the channel. And if you're not already, for more series... Uh, in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Um, after this, uh, I'm going to have a little break from playing uh, from playing these smaller titles. 
And we're actually going to be starting a second Planet Coaster series. It's a little bit different to our main one. So keep your eyes out for that. That should be starting in the next few days. Uh, like I say, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you fancy chatting, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. And, uh, and if you please, feel free to join in with our Geekism community over on our Discord server, where you can suggest the sort of games that we play in the future as well. Uh, you'll find the link there in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.